Thank you. That was fascinating. Um, for all clearly, Miller and the Millerites and others see themselves as recipients of some kind of unique revelation into the advent. Mm -hmm. Thinking of the time span, do you think someone like Miller would have been in, in influenced by the kind of deism of the French Revolution? Or would it have been completely unknown to him? Because it would have been the period of Thomas Paine, presumably. It would... He'd read Thomas Paine. Um, right. And, it's, uh, I've, and certainly some of the French writers, I forget which ones, but he, he tells us quite a lot about the reading that he did when he discovers the deists in his Vermont public library right. in, in, in the first decade of the century. Um, so yes, he's, he's familiar. With, I, mean, I, I think one of the things that's striking about Miller is that he's in many ways a very modern figure. Um, he's, he's, is, he is this self-taught um, character who it has convinced himself of his, his own analytical ability. He's not going to submit to learned authority, um, but is, is going to consult the evidence at first hand, namely the biblical texts themselves. I, I think what sets him apart, or what puts him and... Russell, at least, on one side, and the, the, the Seventh-day Adventists and, and some other communities on the other, is that Miller never claims to have received a direct revelation. Um, it's simply that he has read the text in front of him and has teased out what it says. He's analysed it, he's, he's run the numbers, and he's come out with what seems to him to be a self-evident truth. And he, he seems genuinely surprised when other people can't see it when he points it out to them. Um, he, he does not claim to be a prophet in any sense. Um, Ellen White is, is much more obviously a prophetic figure whose, whose, whose visions and revelations um, never have scriptural status for the Seventh-day Adventists, but it's, it's clearly more than just one person's opinion. 